So it's Thursday the 19th of August and some of you may be wondering what is that on his head? This, my friends, is light therapy. This is from a company which produces these helmets based on some rather interesting theory and experience. It's called Photobiomodulation, PBM. The non-thermal delivery of waves of light energy with a therapeutic benefit. Okay, so why am I doing this? Well, apparently it's considered to be effective against some symptoms of Parkinson's. And this has been around for a while, but it's been experimented in various ways. And let's have a look. What can I share with you about this? Okay, so Parkinson's is a neurological and movement disorder which occurs when the brain cells that produce dopamine begin to die off. There's various theories why that's happening. So Parkinson's is caused by the death of the cells in the brain that produce dopamine. And when dopamine levels get low, the nerves in the brain start to fire randomly and you end up with tremor, rigidity, stiff muscles, slow movement and unstable posture, among a whole host of other goodies. There's also sleeplessness, decreased sense of smell, depression, anxiety, problems with brain function, attention disorder, deficit, um, there's all sorts. So... What am I doing with this hat, which is made in Australia? This is attempting to apply light of a certain frequency to the cells through the skull. So apparently they believe that the light here is enough to get through even a skull as thick as mine in order to have some biological effect on the cells. Now, I'm not expecting an instant cure, and it looks ridiculous, but I'm going to give it a try, because there are a number of other people who have tried this, anecdotally, of course, and um, they think it works for them. Whether it works for me is going to be an interesting question. What does work mean? Does it mean that there's a cure? No, no, it definitely won't mean that there's a cure. Does it mean that there could be a reduction in symptoms? Maybe. It's worth finding out. There are theories about how this actually works. There was um, an article in Nature in 2019. The pulsed near-infrared transcranial intranasal photobiomodulation significantly modulates neuro-oscillations. Well, that isn't talking about Parkinson's, is it? So, yeah, who knows? So why am I doing this? Well, I think this has promise, and it's worth a try, because I'm not stopping my um, primary therapeutic modalities, like medication, and who knows? I might even go through the surgical route. But at this stage... At this stage, this is one of the options. Low-level light therapy. Ah, you may have noticed a slight reduction in the brightness. That's because we actually have two types of LEDs. There's, um, and the system automatically switches between the two after a certain amount of time. So this PBM, sorry, photobiomodulation, is a form of non-invasive brain stimulation, or NIBS, and it has been shown that under laboratory conditions, damaged neurons can regrow their neurites with direct exposure to visible red low-level laser. In an animal study, it was found to be capable of promoting neurogenesis, that cell growth, after ischemic stroke which is an interesting phenomenon as well. So maybe this has some positive effects. It's definitely worth testing, and that's why there are clinical trials 
in Australia at least, but there may be in other locations, where this is being tested. PBM results in activation of signaling pathways and transcription factors, resulting in increased expression of genes relating to protein synthesis, cell migration and proliferation, anti-inflammatory signaling, anti-apoptic protein and antioxidant enzymes. That anti-apoptic protein sounds interesting because that's cellular death. So we'll see how that double-blind study goes and we'll come back to that later. This is not the only option, however. There are at least two other options I'm familiar with for the application of laser light. And one of them is this, a medical grade laser system, which is CE certified, which just means it's safe. And basically that's the laser producing part. And this is used on the gut, the stomach. So it's applied to the stomach for a period of two minutes per site for several sites. Not sure about the confidentiality aspects of the protocol, so I'm not going to go in detail. Suffice it to say, this is used a few times a week, and I've just started using that, so I'll see which of these two does anything, or perhaps the combination of the two will work as well. So this device is also very nice. <laughs> we'll see what that does. Have I wasted my money? I don't know, but it's worth a try. Given the studies that do exist that show there is some sort of effect, I think it's worth giving it a go. And that's all you can ask for. Thanks very much.